The Rolling Hills of West Virginia. On this trip, I'd be hiking 26 miles solo in the George Washington National Forest. But first, I had to get there. of a view. I'm like the only car on the road too. It's like two cars there. Two cars there. <sighs> okay, it seems I'm the only person here for miles. Oh my God, it feels so good to get out of the car. I just gotta get changed, packed up and it's on the trail. Okay, I'm obviously right here. We're gonna go around here, come back around, back to there. Today we'll probably get somewhere in here, camp somewhere, next day, somewhere in there, camp. Final day out. It is 4.35, the sun sets at approximately 8.40. So I got about four hours of good hiking. It's not too hot. Let's grab a map and let's go. Now it is feeling a tad like rain. And I'm not sure if that's just because it's cloudy and windy or if there's some more innate part of me that's sensing the coming rain. I don't know, tough to say. You know, it definitely feels like this could be rain. In fact, looking in the distance there, that looks pretty dark, but... Hmm. I guess the one positive, though, is that it's cooled the weather off significantly. Am I feeling mist? Let's hope for no rain, though. Obviously. Got a nice little campsite here, but it is way too early to stop for the day. The first major landmark will be tomorrow morning, and that is Half Moon Mountain, which is at 2,800 feet. I'm starting at 1,500 feet down at the parking lot, and I think I'm gonna get up to like 2,500 today. So that's a fairly beefy climb for the start, and I'm already really hungry. Let's go a bit more, and let's have some food. Never mind, I'm too hungry. I gotta eat something right now. Oh yeah. So the last couple of times I've eaten like complete trash, but this time my fellow hiking mates, my friends, and some of our viewers have prevented that from happening. Trail mix and mango slices. It's gonna be good. Mm. I really have no excuse for why I ate so poorly. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm safe from the rain for a little bit. The sun has managed to poke its head back out. 
Wow, this is a great trail, man. Look at this. Okay, well, I'm definitely the least knowledgeable on plants in our group. I do know these are blueberries. Some of them look like they might be pretty tasty right now. But I think I'll just leave them for whatever Yogi Bear decides to have some later. that? It almost looks like the remains of an old building or something. Let's see if there's a landmark on the map. Hmm, nothing written down. Okay, let's continue. So I'm actually losing daylight pretty fast. There was a ton of campsites when I first got on the trail, but I haven't seen too many lately. But I'm definitely gonna take the next one I get. Haven't really hiked that much, but that's not a big deal. Tomorrow we can more than make up for it. Yo, this is blueberry heaven. Yo, bear. Do bears actually eat blueberries or am I completely making that up? I just feel like I can see bears rummaging through here, snacking all day long. And then I pop through and they're like, ooh, dinner. Speaking of wildlife, we got some sort of droppings here. Not really too sure what that is. Owl dropping, some sort of coyote. You can see some sort of bone right there. Huh. I've been on the lookout for good campsites, but unfortunately nothing so far. The good news is, is that this breeze feels amazing and there is not a drop of rain in the sky. I can't ask for anything more than that, to be honest. <laughs> you know, right now I feel completely amazing, but there's a slight trickle of dread in the back of my mind that I'm not gonna find a good campsite and I'm gonna be hiking in the dark. So as to prevent that unfortunate outcome, I'm gonna pick up the pace. The problem is, is that when you're in sections like this, there's really no place to camp. I mean, you could always just make your own campsite, but you're gonna be sleeping on a 45 degree incline. Yo, bear! Oh boy, speak of the devil, not even like 100 feet later. Great campsite right there. Okay, let's go down and take a look. Okay, do we have a water source? Yes. Yes, I think we could make that work. It's trickling over there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty hot in these rhinos. So I debated for a little while whether I should even bring my sleeping mat because I really want to keep my pack light. I'm just so sick and tired of having the heaviest backpack that any backpackers ever used, and I almost didn't bring this. But then I was like, you know what? If you get a good night of sleep and your backpack's a little bit heavier, that extra pound is not gonna be any problem. But if you get a bad night of sleep, it doesn't matter how light your pack is. Oh, shit. 
Okay, and now it is time to cook up a meal. <laughs> okay, so one of our viewers, Xing Chen, felt very sorry for me after I ate the Coradilla. So first, she sent a package, and in that package was this. And nobody should eat this monstrosity. So she sent over this pad thai. Now I heard from at least one of my friends that this is his favorite meal. This is 920 calories, so it's gonna be a fairly big meal. But you know what? I'm a fairly medium-sized person. Maybe skinny, I'm kind of tall. Okay, let's eat. Oh, bugs! Two and one-fourth cups of boiling water. Do we have any clue how big this thing is? I don't know if you would classify this as like Chinese folklore and urban legend or what, but my dad used to tell us this story about how there was this ancient master who would wait for all the mosquitoes to bite him, and as soon as they did, he would flex all of his muscles, and they would get stuck, and then he would just one by one kill them. <laughs> I really wish I had that skill right now. Oh! It's a mite buggy. Okay, so it says first to remove oxygen packet. This one's for you, Thomas. Add peanut butter to other ingredients in pouch. Gotta get all of it out. Mmm, cane sugar. <laughs> Add two and one fourth cups of boiling water. Is this boiling? Oh, that's boiling. Wow, that was really boiling. Seal and let sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. You know, there's also some like ancient Chinese wisdom that says that warm water is better for you than cold water, which I believe, you know, it's like probably bad for your humors or something, you know? But who wants to drink hot water? I think this is too hot. Okay, let me, let me go fill up on water while I wait. <laughs> okay, add lime and sriracha to taste. Adding all the sriracha is like a medium heat at a Thai restaurant. Stir, then sprinkle peanuts over entree and serve. Maybe that doesn't look much more appetizing than what I usually eat, but I am fairly certain that it will taste much, much better. Oh man, mmm. Yo, that is fantastic. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, I'm surprised how much you can taste the lime. Maybe I didn't stir well enough. <laughs> but man, that tastes good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No quarradillas tonight. <laughs> so it looks like I did 1.7 miles. The major elevation gain is gonna be tomorrow, but I started right here, somewhere in there right now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go up here, head up all the way to Half Moon Lookout Trail. That's the first mountain peak I'm gonna see. Then I'm gonna head down here, see a whole bunch of other stuff. Camp somewhere there, I guess, and then loop back around, back to the parking lot. All right, I'm gonna go to bed, get up early, get on that trail. I'll see you tomorrow. So in here, I've got baking soda. Normally I use it for deodorant. It kind of leaves a white thing on your clothes. But the good thing about baking soda is it's really good for cleaning. I'm very sweaty right now, so I would like to clean myself. Oh yeah, yeah that's great. So, first stop of the day, Half Moon Mountain. It's gonna be a little bit of a detour. It's 0.6 miles up to the lookout and then 0.6 miles back. Good weather, not too hot, no problem.
suddenly it's a very jungly environment here. I have also not dealt with the heat and the bugs like this in quite a while. It is not something that I miss. Woo! So to get up to Half Moon Mountain, I believe the elevation climb starts right here, and it's gonna be roughly a thousand feet up, over not that much distance. Whew. I'm sweating already. Should I fill up on water? Possibly. Oh man, that's the sad reality of picking a campsite, is you can never know if there's a better one just around the corner. The uphill is real so far. It's about a mile up to the intersection. Okay, I can do this. I mean, I wouldn't want this feeling to be how I feel all the time, but man, sometimes it feels good to just get outside and sweat it out. Kind of like a sauna experience, you know what I mean? Man, it's weird the things that pop into your head while walking on the trail. I was thinking about like some mistakes I've made in the past. And it's almost as if there's a sense in my mind that there's a reset button and you can load the last checkpoint. But it's like really understanding that there's no going back to redo it and there's nothing you could have done to prevent it. Because the way you behaved at that time was the way you were capable of behaving at that time. And the decisions you made were the decisions you made with the best of your knowledge and the best of intentions. Oh man, and you can only move forward from them. I was watching the Han Solo movie in my tent last night. And I've seen that movie many times, but for whatever reason, at the beginning when things go horribly wrong, I just keep watching like, maybe it'll be different this time. <laughs> maybe that's a clue into my psychology. A little too optimistic sometimes. Well, nobody's ever accused me of being too optimistic, so. Maybe that's not what it is. You know, there's a certain mindset of where you're like, oh man, when I was a kid, I walked uphill in the snow five miles to school every day. So you should have to do the same. And to a certain extent, I can understand that mindset. But man, I feel like it makes way more sense that if I struggled and scrimped and saved so that the next generation could have a better life or the people who aren't as capable as me could have it easier, why isn't that a good thing? The people you help don't need to have the same challenges that you did. Then what's the challenge? The challenge, Mr. Offenhaus, is to improve yourself, to enrich yourself. Enjoy it. Not everybody's gonna be a genius at everything, so if we can fill each other's holes, that frees up energy for each person to do what they're really good at. No reason for everybody to have to do the same wheel invention every single time. Take us up to the half moon lookout. Actually, it says it's a mile up. I thought it was only 0.6. Well, we gotta go regardless. And then we'll continue down that way afterwards. Woo! I think I will leave my stuff here though. Oh, and just bounce up the mountain real quick. Oh. Okay, I'm getting the sense that there's campsites right next to the intersections. Because there's another great campsite just right here.
All right, I'm gonna guess this is it. Maybe this is a mistake. <laughs> I guess we'll find out later tonight. Oh my God. Get back and have some lunch. I think there's gonna be many more views like this to come. Oh, beautiful sight though. West Virginia, not bad. So I'm roughly 3.7 miles into the loop. I think if I can get to like 11 or 12, I'll be in good shape. Tomorrow, I'll hike like another 10, stay the night again, and then hopefully have a short hike in the morning because I'll be out of food by then. Okay, next up is Mill Mountain. It's another 700 feet up. It's gonna be pretty steep coming up, so I'm just gonna get to it. Okay, considering every intersection I've come to has had a campsite, I think I can probably rely on intersections having campsites. So if I can get to Big Schloss, <laughs> if I can get to Big Schloss Mountain tonight, there is an intersection there and I could stay there. That put me at about 10 miles into the trail, which will leave 10 miles for tomorrow, six miles for Sunday. Okay, I think that's manageable. Okay, 1.4 to Mill Mountain. about luxury. Flat ground is so nice. Wow. One more intersection, then Mill Mountain. All right, let's keep it moving. This is some serious uphill now, and it's a little thick too. This trail is no joke, man. I thought 26 miles, I've done more. I don't know, man. <laughs> Haven't even done 10 yet. Okay, definitely heading to Big Schloss. Mount Mill is somewhere before that. All oh, that breeze. Oh, the weather's perfect right now. Okay, it's 2.22. I'm at five miles into the loop. I wanna be at 10 miles by tonight. So two miles an hour, that's another two and a half hours. So if I can get there by five o'clock, that'll be pretty good. And of course, if I'm getting close and it doesn't look like I'm gonna get there in time, I'll just take the next campsite I see. Just grab a snack here. And we can head out. It is so tempting to just stop here for the day. This is like almost a perfect campsite. Big open space, plenty of shade. 
still a view of the stars. I can't, it's not even three o'clock yet. <laughs> Goodbye, perfect campsite. You will be missed. I think this must be Mill Mountain. Okay. Yo bear! Yo bear! Well, how far back does this go? Yo bear! Yo bear! Yo bear! I definitely expected an overlook. It's not an outhouse looking thing. Yo bear. Yo bear! Oh, it's a shelter. Wow, I would have to be in some pretty dire straits to want to sleep in there. <laughs> I gotta go back there. Yo, bear! Okay, there shouldn't be any more intersections for a little while. The next major landmark is Big Schloss, and then after that is uh, an unnamed mountain? Is that correct? Yeah, this map doesn't say either. Okay, well anyways, Big Schloss is the next main one. Less than four miles. Right, let's go. There was a rattlesnake, like maybe 20 feet over there. Couldn't see it, but boy, could I hear it. There is something in the DNA of humans, and when you hear that rattle, the fear sets in immediately. Woo! Oh, it's a little spider webby here too. It's a pretty thick jungle area over here. Let's let's keep moving. I want to get out of here. Get as far away from that snake as possible. What? On Earth. Yo bear. Yo bear. So I got these smoking hot Chipotle peanuts. These are also from Shin Chan. I've got this old trail mix. This is actually my nephew's trail mix that they left at my house and I'm stealing it. I'm gonna combine the two and hopefully whatever chipotle sauce they have on the peanuts will rub off on this bland trail mix. Mmm. Sustenance. Okay, well, got a slight dilemma. First of all, good water source. I'm gonna fill back up. It is blazing hot today. But the dilemma is that there's a very nice campsite over there. I say it's a dilemma, but it's not really a dilemma because I haven't done even close to enough mileage today to still be able to finish the hike tomorrow and Sunday. But this is so tempting. Man, there's even another fire pit over there. Yeah, this is only 6.4 miles into the loop. I gotta get to at least 10 today because that leaves 10 for tomorrow and then six for the final day. But I can manage that and get out, get a post hike meal even if I'm out of food. Oh, man. Mm. Let's go. So I've only run into one person on the trail so far and uh, I just ran into him again and we both filled up water over there and he's actually taking that campsite. Oh man, I'm pretty jealous of him. <laughs> but I gotta keep going even if I don't want to. I gotta keep going. Approaching somewhat the end of my rope here. <laughs> oh, I made it to Big Schloss. Okay. Well, that's at least deserving of a break. Ah. <sighs> wow. 
That is glorious. Okay, so I got some good news and bad news. One, this is not Big Schloss, which means that I'm not as far along as I thought I was. I'm 7.3 miles into the loop. I need to get to 10, so another 2.7. It's somewhat deceptive because I've hiked 11 and a half miles today. It's just into the loop how far I've gone is different. Good news is I've had some trail mix, had a little peanut butter sandwich. I think I can do it. Big Schloss is further down the trail this way. We're gonna go across here tomorrow. Other side of that mountain range. Other side, other side, other side, other side. Back to the car somewhere over there. Man, when you look at it like that though, it doesn't seem possible. It's kind of good that when you're on the trail you have no overview of the whole thing because looking at the overview, I'm like, dude, there's no way. But inevitably, you keep walking, you'll eventually get there. Okay, ah! 2.7 more. Let's go. There's an intersection coming up. Hopefully, it's like past intersections and there will be campsite. Because I'm approaching my limit and I don't wanna get injured. That would be the worst outcome. So it would be better to stop for today, have a long day tomorrow, and then potentially a long Sunday as well, but not get injured and be a little bit hungry. We'll only eat half of dinner tonight just to be safe. Whew. Wish I hadn't eaten all the dinner last night. I really didn't need to. <laughs> Let me you learn. Okay, I am one million percent positive that is a campsite. And the intersection should be just up here somewhere. And if that is not a campsite, that is where I'm camping today. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yo snake, yo bear. Oh, campsites galore, baby. One there. One over there. Okay. Okay, I made it to 8.2 miles into the loop, which is close to where I wanted to get to. It's not ideal. Tomorrow I'm gonna have to be a little more economical on my hiking and make sure I get a good 10 miles in. That would leave eight miles for the final day. That is gonna be a hungry, a hungry hippo hike. <sighs> Okay, maybe this is a little better. I gotta eat. I don't have the energy to think right now. This is close enough. It's also occurring to me now that I was putting my tent right under that tree that could easily fall over. You know, accidents and like missteps and misthinking, it's always so easy to say, oh yeah, the person's just stupid, right? But you don't know when your brain is not operating at full efficiency. And you just start to rush things. You don't think things through. Like in daily exercise and stuff, right? It's okay to push the limit a little bit. And even out here, you can push the limit a little bit, but you gotta use bounds of reason because if you don't have like basic rules that you follow, then you might do something stupid and just be like, oh, well, I'll just keep hiking because that's an even number. Let's rethink that one, bruh. Just cause it's an even number. It's not mean your body is capable of doing it. So, this is gonna be tomorrow's dinner. I got two sandwiches left, I got a lot of trail mix, and I got a few mango slices left. Tomorrow I should still be fine, but Sunday I'm gonna be a little hungry, and there's gonna be a solid eight miles to do on Sunday. Pad Thai, part du. This might require a spoon, but it is definitely nice and hot, and I'm sure that's gonna be nice and tasty. 
I'm gonna use my first aid scissors to open the packets this time. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's great, dude. That is life affirming. It's like, why am I alive? I'm alive so I can have moments like this. Oh, and the cool breeze. Okay, I feel a little bit like those dreams that you have where you haven't been to class for like three months and then you suddenly realize you have a class and you're like, oh God, what am I gonna do? Big Schloss is a mile away. It's supposed to be one of the best views on the trail. I'm gonna book it without stopping and see how fast I can get this mile done. And today in general, I'm gonna try to make some good smooth progress without lots of gaps and try to get a faster pace, you know? All right, let's go. Okay, I think we found Big Schloss there in the distance. Whew. So I've already passed Big Schloss, but there's another trail that will loop back around and get us back up there. I think it's just up ahead. Okay. Wolf Gap's gonna be our next source of water. Big Schloss is up this way, quarter of a mile. I imagine that's a quarter of a mile uphill, but I think it'll be worth it. That is. fantastic trail overall but definitely the highlight if you can only go to one place so far this is definitely it perfect weather perfect day perfect view So I started somewhere over there. My car is probably somewhere in the forest. We hiked up there, along the ridge, down here, back up to here. We're gonna go back around, down there somewhere, other side of those mountains, all the way back around, or maybe over here, or over there, I don't know. Somewhere to the car in this general direction. Oh man, this is a spirit booster. I've got the energy. We're gonna move, 
Let's go. Looks like I just beat the morning rush with social distancing. Those viewpoints become a little trickier. Two people were there when I got up, but I was the only one there afterwards. Oh man, feeling good now. Come on. Come on, we can get some mileage in today. Let's go. We're here, Big Schloss, going down to Wolf Gap to fill up on water. Running a little low. All right, let's move. City. Okay, almost to Wolf Gap. There's apparently a water source somewhere in that vicinity. Let's keep moving. Okay. So it's all self registration at the campsites. My trail continues over here. Let's keep moving. We'll find a stream eventually. Okay, Tibbet Knob. 3.93 miles hiked, one hour and 50 minutes. We're making really good progress in time today. And the next big landmark is Tibbet Knob, which is also supposed to be really nice from what I've heard. I'm sitting at like 2,300 feet. Tibet Knob is up at like 2,800, and that ascent is gonna be over a very short distance. I'm still not seeing any water. So I'm gonna have to get over Tibet Knob down the other side and really hope that there's some water <laughs> or I'm gonna be in trouble. Actually, I should be fine because after that is a road and where there's a road, there's gotta be some, I don't know how that follows, but <laughs> can't get in too much trouble if there's a road. Okay, water source looks much more likely in this area. We could get lucky. So far, nothing. Okay, so this is a double case of don't do what Donnie don't does. But I think I made the right decision. <laughs> Two hikers were coming down, and I asked them if they knew about any streams up ahead. And they said, we haven't seen any for a while. But they did have extra water to give to me. And maybe during a pandemic, that's not the smartest idea, but I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> like I said though, don't do what Donnie don't does. They could have made this clear. Oh, I'm not sure if it comes across on the video, but it is definitely very steep. It's steep. some food then we got to get down the other side of the mountain and find some water ASAP mm. oh my god two hours 47 minutes 5.66 miles if we can do that one more time today we'll be sitting pretty That is Big Schloss right there. And I hiked all the way down back up over here. That seems impossibly far. Okay, I'm feeling good with food in me. It's back down and back up again and back around. 
Let's go. Still no water, man. Ah. Man, even the gutter is dried up. Just gotta keep moving, I guess. Remember the other day I was talking about walking uphill both ways in the snow? I'm gonna add a little addendum to that. I don't wish anybody to have to walk uphill in the sun either. If you're watching this and enjoying it, you don't need to suffer this uphill climb like I am. You can just enjoy the video. <laughs> in fact, just for me, you should go get a drink from the fridge and drink that up with multiple ice cubes. What happened to the shade? It's all gone. This is my life now. My life is just on this road now. Just think about that dinner. Think about that polenta and sausage. As hot as it is though, I love this feeling so much, man. Just me, my pack, the road, and just walking for it. It feels like a physical manifestation of freedom. Oh man, I think those are mulberries. Oh man, I can't risk it. Andrew! Where are you, Andrew? I need you. Richard! I need you! Got a little berry bursting with juices. Uh, I just gotta, I gotta ration. Tiny little sips. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is, what do we call this trail? Oh, I forgot already. In any case, I could keep going down the road and then keep looping around, or I can take this cut through trail. So I'm just going through here, and man, I'm gonna hope there's some water. Some water right here? No? Dry, but not dry as a bone. Huh. Oh, some big tents. Humongous tents. Okay, yeah, so this is Long Mountain Trail. We're gonna go up here. We could continue on the road and then go on Trout Pond Trail, but I think this is shorter and this will take us back up to the parking lot. Okay, if worst comes to very worst, we know that there's a lake 2.7 miles ahead, but there's gotta be some water in here. Like this might be a stream right here, right? I can't tell. We'll be fine. I still got a little bit left. I can just keep sipping it, but whew, I'd like to have a full bladder of water. Wow. 
Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> Where are the animals drinking the water? It's gotta be some water for the animals at least. looking completely unpromising again. Just have to keep drip feeding. Get there eventually. Nice view though. Dry as a bone. Come on trail. Just a, just a little trickle, that's all I need. Maybe there? Maybe this is a stream? Come on baby. Come on baby. Dry. As a bone. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Can't you just imagine a beautiful flowing stream? Because I can. <laughs> it looks so much like any typical stream in a forest, but it's just bone dry. Like, look at that. Would you guess that there's water running there? I would. But is there? Probably not. Was there ever any water here? The trees just drinking it all? Okay, this had to be a stream. It's gotta be water running there at some point in the year. That point in the year is not right now. Oh my God. Oh my God, water. Oh, it is stagnant than a mofo. Let's go a little bit farther up. Yo, bear. Oh. Okay, if this were truly life and death, I would filter that. Should I filter it anyway? Man, that is just, I don't know, I don't know. No, no, we're gonna keep going. I'd probably be fine, but we know there's water up at that pond, so let's keep going and not die of dysentery. We'll die of thirst. I don't know, is this okay? Look, that's kind of flowing. Let's keep going. Okay, it's definitely getting wetter. Got some mud. Come on, baby. Give me a nice stream. Nice trickling stream, a babbling brook. Wait, what about over there? Yeah, bear. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. Man, it was it's looking real grim. Look at that. Ah. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna go pump more in a second, but we gotta experience this together. Life is worth living. Life is worth living. <laughs> oh. 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 Woo! Okay. Let's, let's get some more water. Intersection coming up. We head right and we'll be on our way. Just gotta find a campsite now. Oh, there is a campsite. Oh, there's an intersection. This is a great forest, man. Every time you get to an intersection, somebody has set up an amazing campsite. It is not like that at every trail. Okay, let's, uh, let's strategize, let's strategize. It's 3.35 p.m. I've managed to do 12.16 miles today, which is a lot. The thing is, I still have roughly seven miles back to the car. That's totally doable. The only problem is I would have a seven hour drive back home. It'd be at least another three hours to get back to the car. It's like 6.30, 7 o'clock. Can't do it. <laughs> oh, there's a piece of paper. Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Anyways, came from there. Fantastic campsite right here. And this would eventually take us back to the car. It's kind of early in the day to be stopping, but no, I think 12 miles in a day, that's plenty. Darn near got dehydrated. Taking the campsite. Thank you. 
I've not seen a single person go by. I've been here for like an hour. There has been an animal just scrounging around. I can hear it scrounging and it's moved all over the forest. <laughs> Maybe it's multiple ones, but just me and the animal enjoying a peaceful afternoon. In addition to the leftover pad thai, we've got the polenta with pork sausage. This is from Brian's Secret Vault. Thank you, Brian. These two combined should make for a hearty dinner, which means I've got trail mix and some mango slices for tomorrow, but I've also got that post hike meal. So polenta is just cornmeal, but I'm sure this will be very tasty. Have I talked about these spoons? I got a fork somewhere. But in the before times when I was on a plane, it was an international flight to China. They would give you these incredibly high quality plastic spoons, forks, and knives for every meal. And they would just throw them away and I was like, no. So I had everybody I was with collect them for me and I have like tons of these. A watch pot never boils. And a hungry stomach. Stays hungry. And we will start with the polenta and sausage. Oh, it looks perfect. Not bad, not bad. I am starving. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, I'm good. <clears throat> I've never had polenta before. Yeah, it tastes like kind of soggy cornbread. No, oh, that's selling it way short. It tastes like corn flavored mashed potatoes. Yep. Oh, I'm good. Maybe a tad heavy for breakfast, but for dinner, mm, mm -hmm. it's really good that. I didn't have any spam coradillas this time. Because let me tell you, I'd probably be dead right now if I did. And all you can drink water? It's better than a buffet. And now, the pad thai. Same as it was yesterday, but just as good. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peanuts in. Is that what she said? <laughs> just a tad too much water this time, but that's okay. We didn't have enough water today. <laughs> Oh, so that was a very difficult day, but what a payoff. Oh. yesterday it was like dude am i ever gonna be able to finish this trail but now looking at the map like i'm almost done just a quick six mile hike out in the morning no problem it's like when you want to put your mind to it you can really get out some miles if you really just keep walking anyways it's about seven o'clock the dinner has been eaten the sun is going down i'm gonna go to bed get up early i'll see you in the morning If it's gonna rain, I guess now is a decent time for it. Hopefully it's not too long and then I can just head out. Okay, my cell phone battery is really low. I was able to get some signal. And if this forecast is accurate, it's gonna stop in a few minutes and then I'm gonna have an hour break, which will be my perfect opportunity to get going. Okay, roughly six miles today. It's a straight shot up Long Mountain Trail. I will waste no time. We shall begin.
about a mile and a half left. Just one punishing uphill, and then it's all downhill from there, baby. We're gonna get into the land of dry clothes and air conditioning. Mayhaw, mayhaw. Man, I was up there sometime yesterday. That is so crazy. Is that Big Schloss? That might be Big Schloss. I can't tell. Dude, I am so close. I can taste it. Oh, what a river. I'm gonna be dry soon. Dry as the driest creek bed in all of yesterday's hiking. Really close. Really, really close now. Yes, my car's up there somewhere. It feels so good every time. Feels like a lifetime ago I was over here, but there's my car. I can feel the dryness. I've been soaking wet with sweat for three days. made a huge mistake. I tried to get pizza from a local place and I was like, well, let me just get a calzone. And then she was like, okay, give us 20 minutes. I was like, oh, 20 minutes. So we're having dessert first. <laughs> this is life in 2020, man. Eating a brownie alone in your car. Call that a post-like meal? Get out of here. <laughs> That's a good brownie, though. Okay, wow, this is a giant calzone. Mama. Oh, my hands feel so gross, dude. Oh, good God. Oh, this is nice. This is almost like a Pillsbury dough type of calzone. Can you see that? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Come on, man. Dip it in the sauce. Mmm, it's kind of redundant to put the sauce on there, but not bad. This place is called Lido Pizza somewhere on the way. Oh, Parmesan? Come on, man. This car needs to be cleaned anyway. <coughs> <coughs> I am in flavor country. I think with that, thank you for watching. I'm going to drive home for the next 800 years. See you next time. Mm. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to you guys, we finally got this bad boy. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. We cannot thank you enough. If you enjoyed the video, also be sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash adventure. And we also have t-shirts, which you can go to our Teespring store listed in the description and a little video bar underneath. But thank you for watching. As always, hope you guys are doing well, and we'll see you next time. It's a little makeshift campsite here. little campsite here. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. That is good times right there. <laughs> Brian just had this and he gave it to me. Brian was still, what was I gonna say? Bugs, bugs, give me more bugs at AutoZone. You can find the right bugs. It's a mutt buggy indeed. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Wow, life is worth living. Mm. I'm even gonna drink the warm water. Woo, it's good for health. Ah, ah, meha, meha. Oh man. <laughs> Damn it! How did you get in? Bastards. Get out!
Get out, I said. Out. Bastards. Mm. Oh, come on. Man. Oh, God. Woo! Alright, there shouldn't be any more intersections for a long time. And the next major landmark will be... And the next major land... Okay, there shouldn't be more... No, it's... They'd have to re -implement. Yo, bear! Oh, man, I'm pretty jealous of him. <laughs> Oh, why do they go after the eyes? I just don't understand. <laughs> <Can't> fly. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Okay. <laughs> just a mite thirsty. Just a mite thirsty indeed. Just sweating in the sun. Uphill. Going up to Dragon Tooth Mountain. Actually, what is it called? <laughs> Sorry. Devil's Hole Mountain. No wonder. It has that name. As hot as it is though, as hot as it is and as low as, hold on. As hot as it is though, okay, yeah, good to go, okay. Jesus. This is not sanitary, don't do this. I suppose now is as good as a time as any. I suppose now is good a, good of a time as any. I suppose now is good, is as good One more handful of nuts. We will be on our way. Can't let any of those animals go to waste. Oh, oh. Look who we got here. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> we got the secret garden right here. <laughs>